Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The Organizer within Microsoft Project allows you to transfer views and other defined objects between opened project files. To do this, first open the project files between which you want to transfer the custom project file objects. Then click the File tab within the ribbon and select the Info command from the choices shown at the left side of the Backstage view. In the area to the right, you can then click the Organize Global Template button to open the Organizer dialog box. Within the Organizer dialog box, you can see the various objects that you can import and export grouped by object category and displayed on the tabs within this dialog box. First, click on the name of the tab that contains the type of object that you wish to transfer from one project file to another. Next, use the left object name available in dropdown to select the name of the project file that contains the specific object that you want to export into another opened project file. Then use the right object name available in dropdown to select the name of the project file into which you want to copy the specific object. At this point, you should see the name of the object to transfer shown in the listing at the left side on this tab. Click on the name of the specific object to transfer, and then click the Copy button to copy the object into the listing at the right side of the tab. Doing this will copy the selected object from the project file that you selected at the left side of the tab into the project file that you selected at the right side of the tab. While you have the Organizer window opened, note the other functions that are available within this dialog box. You can click the Close or Cancel Toggle button to close the dialog box. You can also use the Rename and Delete buttons to rename or delete selected items in the lists. This is a very handy way of deleting custom views that you have created by accident from the list of available views within a project file. Also note that you can select items from the right list and then click the Copy button to copy items from the right list to the left list if desired. Also note that you, if you copy objects into either the global MPT or global plus non-cached enterprise project files, you are actually copying objects into the global template that is used as the basis for new project files that are created in the future. If you are using Project Server, you may not be able to copy elements into the global plus non-cached enterprise template due to network security settings. However, if using a standalone copy of Microsoft Project, you can copy elements into the global MPT file. Take care when adding, renaming, deleting, or otherwise editing elements within the global template files, as this will affect the content available in future project files created from that template. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.